It's been three years since COVID-19 shocked the world, taking its toll on people and businesses. Some businesses weren't able to bounce back. But one businessman in Yankton is working hard to bring back a city staple that closed its doors three years ago. In tonight's Eye on Catalan, Lauren Solig tells us about the bright future ahead for the Yankton Mall. The Yankton Mall has sat almost completely empty since 2020. We never, you know, anticipated that. The only problem that had been three years ago was, you know, businesses kind of coming and going. But nothing like what happened when COVID hit. That just ended it right then. Doug Sal works at the Carpenter's Shop, a Christian bookstore owned by his wife. He says once the pandemic hit, the previous owners of the mall closed the main front doors and never unlocked them again. The only reason this store survived was because they decided to move to a spot in the mall with its own outdoor entrance. But in the meantime, the few remaining stores, businesses that had been here, all left with the exception of the sporting goods store on the north end sure. and a tavern over in the corner on the southwest side. We were the only people here at the time. And it remained that way for over three years. But now the mall is in its comeback era, thanks to Matt Evans. I think that uh, I kind of have a savior complex a little bit, so I really like to rescue things and help the community or, or whatever it takes. Evans began the process of buying the 260,000 square foot mall a year ago. I fought hard for it. Um, we had a lot of dead ends, a lot of uh, bumps and curves, basically. Uh, and I just kept fighting for it. In June of this year, he could finally call himself the owner of the mall, now renamed to Event Central. And Evans hit the ground running to bring the space back to life. The first step, reopening the movie theater. I think it was like three weeks. We did the entire remodel, all new systems, everything in the movie theater, and we were up and running. Cinema Magic welcomed in a line of people to watch the latest movie releases on July 28th. There's no reason Yankton can't have a theater. There's way smaller towns that have theaters, so I felt it was a necessity to get this here first. The next project is opening up a restaurant beloved to Yankton residents and beyond, Joe Dean's. Evans bought the name and recipes of the popular steakhouse. It's going to take a while to rebuild the kitchen and everything else, but we, Joe Dean's will soon be in the mall. The movie theater, Joe Dean's, and a future daycare center are all part of phase one of the mall project. Phase two of the project will be the half of the mall behind this gate, but Evans says there's already interest from businesses wanting a spot behind here. For all those people who have their business uh, that they either want to grow it or even start it, this is the chance uh, to have a discounted rent rate and we can just keep it going. Evans hopes future businesses can work together to create a community in the mall. If we can get away from the mall mentality of 10 clothing stores in one place fighting over the same customer and have businesses that help each other within one building, I believe that's how we're going to be successful. Now, three years ago, Evans never imagined he'd be fighting to bring the mall back better for the city he loves. Like three years ago, I was still working at my dad's shop and, uh, and now I'm here. It's just, it's great. It's great for me. Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's great for Yankton. And I think we just keep going, keep building the dream. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solik.